Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gram stain. Gram stains are good for distinguishing between different types of bacteria. There are gram positive types and gram negative types and it's based on the structure of their cell wall. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with a bacterial smear that was already prepared in our bacterial smear video. Um, <clears throat> it's already been heat fixed so it's not going to move off the slide and now you just want to stain it. Usually you'll have a sink nearby but if you don't have sink you can do it right on the table with a few squirt bottles and stains. I'm using a beaker. I made sure that the beaker would fit, the slide would fit on top of the beaker without it falling down. And this beaker actually works very well for this. Before I start though, I should mention that when you go to stain these, there's um, solvents like ethanol and some of the stains that will take off a Sharpie marker. So don't use a Sharpie marker on these slides. What you need to use instead is either a grease marking or char china marker, they call it, grease marker or china marker, or you can use a glass etching tool to etch whatever you want, whether the culture that you're doing, the date, or a lot of times it'll be initials of students in the class. And <clears throat> so make sure that you don't use a Sharpie on these because it will disappear and you won't know whose it was. All right, make sure that it fits pretty well on top of the beaker. And the first thing you're going to add is something called crystal violet. Crystal violet is a very purple stain, and yes, it will stain your clothes. And <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to add it to the top. Make sure that you basically cover the whole area that had the bacterial um, smear on it. Then, by magic, a minute later, you leave this on for a minute. After a minute, if you don't have gloves and you don't want to get your hands messy, then what you can do is you can also grab it with a clothespin and dump it that way. Then you're going to use plain tap water. If you have a sink available, you can do just a, a slight There we go. A slight stream of water to rinse off that stain. And you should not be able to see any, just a slight purple after that. Then the next thing you're going to add is something called Graham's iodine. And you are going to flood the slide again over the part that has the bacterial smear. And you're going to sit and wait for a minute on that. Okay. After a minute has elapsed, so so far it's been one minute for the crystal violet, one minute for the Graham's iodine. This is the tricky part. You need to get rid of the iodine, rinse it well with water, and the probably the most important step is the decolorizer. In this case, we're using 95% ethanol. You can also use a combination of um, acetone and ethanol. And you have to put a few drops on until the purple goes away, but just barely. And then rinse it quickly with water. It's really important that you don't use too much decolorizer because if you use too much decolorizer, then everything that would have, the purple that would have stuck, you've now forced off of it. So <clears throat> make sure that you just put a few drops until there's not a really dark purple coming off of it. And you saw it's really quickly, probably three squirts and you're done. Next thing you're going to add is something called the counter stain. And the counter stain is saffronin. Saffronin is red. And once again, you're going to flood that. And you're going to wait for a minute again. After a minute, dump off the saffronin. 
rinse it. Once you're done rinsing, you're going to, I usually turn it upside down on a paper towel, or if you've got a bibulous paper book, a lot of people use those, then you put it inside of there, then leave it on the counter, fold the paper towel over, and kind of just blot it so that you're getting all that water off before you put it on the microscope. Now, remember I said it was down. And how will you know which side is which, which ones you've stained? Well, it's going to be the side that you either have the grease marking pencil or the etchings or um, however you marked the slide is going to be the side that you want to look at. <clears throat> and once you're done with that, you're done gram staining. And you can look and see if it's purple, it's going to be gram positive. And if it's red, it's going to be gram negative.